Hello everyone, welcome back to the VLSI sign. Today we are going to start our sixth presentation which is based on VLSI sign cadence virtues which is based on the current sink and then current source. In this circuit we must both of them together so that it will give us a result which we are going to form. Like this is a DC analysis of this schematic and then we change the source with the the current source with the resistor then find out the DC analysis and then we will try to find out the point at which the VDS is same for both the transistors and MOS and MOSFETs and at what current this um, both the uh, voltages are same so this is our goal so now we are going to start our schematic so with a second we have to delete this sorry just i have all already saved the vdd file okay so we can use this hmm. and then we can use gpdk 180 gpdk 180 and then you can use the nmos just enter this this time then the side way enter You just press I, then go for PMOS, then press enter, then just press I, then just click to side view, and then just like this. Okay, just press I, we need one current source, so we have to go with the analog lib. This IDC This is our IDC Okay So just press play Just connect all these points again This can be the substrate. We can use can this this PDD. We have to connect this also this VDD. This is already connected and then just connect this and this with ground. So here it is. This is our circuit. Just press F and we have to give some value. Like this press Q, take the value of DC current 10 Q. You can choose this value. Just take it to just take it to 500. Just take this again 500. 
Thank you. We have to give the same value to all these transistors, MOSFETs, MOSFETs, 8, 500 and 500 and this press, ok, just press Q, 500 and 500 and Just press into press into so all done. We have to choose the value of VDD. Just choose this. We got a 2.5. No problem in this. Press enter. Just four. I don't think any error is there. Schematic check complete with no error. Now we can go with the launch ADL. Just press copy from cell view. No, no need because we have given the 2.5 value already. So PC analysis. So just try this PC analysis, right? Design variable. No design variable, no design variable is there. So let's start and stop with 0 to 2.5. I don't think this will give any result. DC variable name. Oh, DC variable name. So let me take one thing. Just use this SQ and Change the value. Change the value to VDD. Just press check and change VDEL. Copy from cell view. Just give the value 2.5. It's okay. Okay. So just give this DC, DC operating point, design variable, VDC. Dvd zero to two point five automatic right. So just run it. This is showing all the values. Mm, oh sorry. Press from design. Okay. From design, so we want this voltage, this voltage, and this current. And just press OK. Just go to the ADE here. Just press OK. Let's see. So this is what we are getting, but this is not the actual what we want. Let's stop here. Let it shine. The, the, const, the current is not constant, right? This current is increasing the, when the current at which the 10 micro ampere current at which both the voltage is 697 697 See, maximum is similar to, to 697 okay so at 10 micro ampere both the voltage VGS and VGS of both the 
MOSFETs are equal. So it shows what? If this both are equal, 697.672. Okay. Right. So now the second point is if we change the current source, just press exit. Do you want to save the current? No. Okay. If we press delete and just delete this and just press I in the log live and, and resistance. There is a lot of resistance. I can the name Q resistance to RS RS okay. Just give this the value to RS and then check and save. Then launch ADEL. We will find two variables, design variables now. Just change it to ten. I show. Just change it to three eighty. Three. Still get key. No problem on this. Two point five. Just press DC. We save the DC operating point. Design variable. Design variable is the fact that this time is RS. Start time is zero to three eighty. Okay. Yes. C. Okay. So design from design. This is this. Yes, it is. And the current. You see the outputs. Press OK. And you will see this in ADL. Just press done. So let's see what we are getting. So actually we are getting the same plot. Which is our objective, I think, right? You can change the values or you can change it to linear also. So it will show the linear line. Right, I can change this. Just change this to automatic to linear. Step like this, two steps. I will just take it to 20. Okay, just run it. Let's check whether it gives the linear shape. It's not showing the linear shape. We can change the resistance value also. Let's change this value. To mm. just take ten M. Just a hit and trial method. Just take this ten M and see what will what will what the effect it will show when we take the value as ten M. Right. Just take it to automatic, enter, just run it.
We have to directly open the file which uh, I have saved earlier. Mm. You can open it directly. Open common source. No, it's not in the common source. It is in the home sign I think home sign right? Current mirror. No, it's not in the current mirror. PV7, right? Yes, this is okay. So it will directly open our last file. Let's see. Yes, this is so. Just check and save. This launch AD. Just press. Copy from cell just give the value of 170k, just give the value to 1.8. You can analyze the DC, save operating point, design variable, just take it design variable to RS, just take this to 0 to 170k. Automatic design from design, right? You have to choose this, you have to choose this, sorry, this point, and then this correct, which is ID. Or are selected, apply, okay, go to the ADL. Just check the model libraries. This is 180 nanometer, no problem at all. You can run it. See, it is showing something different now. Let's check this. At 10.342 micro ampere or 10.313, no, yes, so it's nearly equal to this is nearly equal to it. So, this is nearly equal, okay. So at 10.32 micro, 34 micro ampere, it shows the result. So in our schematic also, it is showing, sorry, it is showing that, and you can check, okay, wait a second, you can visualize this, you can check this. Okay, just run it. Change this value. Let's take again. Ten M. Let's take it. Let's see. What the changes we will see after applying this? So you have to change this from here also. Just run it. Just see. What. Just 
so now it's I think it's giving us uh, figure so which we are looking for so just press V and just change the style to solid okay and change this V you can see that at uh, 797 at nearly 10 micro ampere it shows that the both the voltage is equal so this is our main plot which we are aiming so this in this our, in our presentation also in our presentation also this was the main plot at which the 778 and 779 at 9.2639 micro so all the objectives of this module is covered now so thank you for watching this good night